My name is Katie Torino and I am the Executive Director of the House of Possibilities here in Easton on 350 Washington Street. We are a service provider for children, teens, and adults with disabilities and we run programs seven days a week on a corner of the campus of Stonehill College. During the week we offer day habilitation, community-based day support, and employment services for adults five days a week from nine to three. On the weekends, we offer overnight respite for children, and we offer social and recreational programs for children and adults. House of Possibilities is one of the only known providers of overnight respite for children with disabilities um, in Massachusetts and beyond, and we have children coming to our program from over 58 communities in Massachusetts as far as 60 miles away. So this is Hope's Chef's Kitchen, and a lot of action happens here. On Mondays, we have a snack group. On Thursdays, we have a cooking group in our adult program, and that cooking group prepares a meal for the entire house and any guests who might join us on Thursdays. Uh, I cut veggies, I cut salads, I make pasta, I make meatballs. I do all the stuff. Yeah, this summer we go our vegetables and we carry over here. Food is good. Food is uh, love. We say banja banja, eat eat. Do you want to do some Zumba before you do that? You can jump in. Absolutely. So we're at the uh, Conway Family uh, Gym. This is where we this is where we walk out. We have a treadmill, a steel mask, a bike. Folks, um, today are working on a couple of different baking activities. What are you making here? It's our project. And what's it going to be when you're done? Uh. <laughs> Not sure yet. Fridge <laughs> or something. <laughs> what do we call this? Our Mod Podge collage. And action. <laughs> Hello, I'm Ray from Raina, Massachusetts. I came here from House of Possibilities. We do Meals on Wheels on Mondays, Chair Fit Yoga on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, we do Sound Meditation, and Fridays we do Best Buddies. On the weekends, we'll have children stay here on Friday and Saturday nights, giving parents a full 42 hours of respite. Um, and what we know is that having that break and that opportunity um, for caregivers to take care of um, their family and their personal needs makes all the difference. We have not found any other facility that offers this in New England and beyond. And the need is so great. We have two singles and two quads. We really try to frame the overnight respite as a sleepover. So it's a fun activity and it's a social, a chance to practice social skills. One of the things that House of Possibilities is really known for is that we are truly a community-based program. Our um, day hub participants will get into the community at least once a day. Um, that is very different from a lot of other day hub programs. Our number one value is community integration and being part of the greater community around us. So 50 plus volunteers a week will come into um, HOPE. There isn't a lot of uh, particular background or training that folks come in with, but we have a really robust training program. Our big initiative in the coming year is gaining employment for our members. And part of that is developing relationships with local businesses and organizations and creating meaningful jobs here in the Eastern. So Miss Evelyn has been here since the beginning of our day programs, nine years now. And on the side, Evelyn is an advocate and she speaks at um, public schools about um, her disability. I do exercising. I use my walker to walk around the building um, without just hanging out with my friends. And when I first walked in, I'm like, I can't believe how big this house is. I should just live here. And I'm like, I was just totally amazed. And the staff is so, so nice to me and so supportive. So on behalf of everyone here at the House of Possibilities, we want to thank the Lions for their ongoing support and enthusiasm.